It's the weekend, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Pole Father, and as always, it only takes one. Today in this video, we are cracking open a fresh minty, oops, center of the camera, fresh minty first edition light, just kidding, heavy jungle pack. So, as always, the motto is it only takes one. We don't do the card trick here back in the 90s. We're doing this for fun. 100% risk. But guess what, guys? You know what? You only live once. So I know it's 2023, but YOLO. Yeah. So as always, we start off every video going through the old, I shouldn't say old, but the hits from the previous videos. For those of you guys just joining in now, welcome. I'm the Pole Father, and as always, it always takes one. For those of you guys tuning in, like the page. And for those of you who are new, subscribe to the channel. We're going to crack some heavy packs on this channel. We will submit them for grading. And it's up to discussion who we're sending to them. That is a very interesting topic. People have been asking me is where am I grading these? But as always so far, we've had a total of 13 heavy, 13 heavy, 13 heavy packs. Three base and limited, six fossil, and three three jungle that brings us to nine 12 yep 12 packs so as always i'll go through the polls we had through thus, thus far it has been quite the experience so if for those of you watching that see my last video we pulled pulled bruce lee hollow crispy minty got a great high jump kick in there the Dirty Dog got us. We pulled the Magneton in the following previous video from there. It was bound to happen. It was either going to be the Muck or the Magneton. I don't have one. This thing is absolutely flawless. Clean as a whistle, as someone has mentioned in my other previous comments. It's a great looking condition card. Oop, that's not the next one. Put this in proper order here. Then we pulled the Mirror Force Chansey. Probably the most cleanest copy of a Chansey basic card I've ever held in my life. Flawless, crispy, minty. To be honest, I don't know how many of you guys are skipping through this part because I roll through what my previous pulls were in the past. Next, we have Big Boy Snorlax. Guys, I pulled this card with my cousin. What an incredible experience. He called this card out of the gates. He picked the pack. We pulled it. I'm speechless to the condition of this card. Ooh. From there, we fell into the Red Eyes Bluebird Articuno. Another crispy, flawless card. The only issue with this one is it is a little off-center on the back, but I don't think enough to actually penalize it for a 9. I think this actually gets a 10. I'll show the quick little show on the back here. That's just a piece of fuzz right there. But notice how if you see there's some lighting going on there from the plastic there, but notice how the centering is a little bit left to right on this. Uh, still, I've seen a lot of plenty of examples of this. I still think this gets a 10. The front is absolutely center, crispy mint. Showed to you guys there right there. A little more level so you can see turn. Centering's great. Um, can't complain on this card. No, nothing. No, nothing wrong with it. Oh. Then we pulled the nice Kaboot Tops. And this was kind of a little start force into this card. I was pretty excited to see this card, actually. Um, in my opinion, last time we played the games, Kaboot Tops is probably one of the most underrated Pokemon to use. Um, he actually helped me crush Elite Four to give it a tryout. And since then, I've kind of been a huge Kaboot Tops fan. So... Very happy to pull him. And last but not least, but first off to leave the entire series off, we pulled the Nine Tails. Nine Tails in absolute crispy, minty condition. Uh, this was a very interesting pack when I opened this. You guys got to check out the video on the similar weight and similar pack art. But um, this card is off center on the front. Just a little bit. Not too much. But um, I think it had a great shot at 10. Honest to God. So, which leads us to who will be joining us. At the next seat of the round table. Now, guys, I like opening heavy packs, and you only live once. So, folks, it only takes one. We do not do the card trick on this channel. Okay. So, honestly, you guys, I'm hoping just to get a hollow. Um, that's all I really have to say. This pack weighs, I got my scale right here. It's actually good. I want to record always the uh, weights of these packs so we know history. 
So we've got the gram scale going, package being weighed, 21.35. So in theory, this should retain a hollow. It's not guaranteed, but it should. Now my other pack I have is a 21.5. It's really heavy. But should this be a hit, we should be in the clear for the next pack. If it's a miss, I don't know. But it should be a hit. Feels about right. So pack is crisp, mint, like a clean slate. All right. Toasting to you guys. Last sip of espresso. Give it a chance to activate. Feeling lucky. Um, you know, I know I know I'm doing a lot of um heavy openings, but I do have a lot of other content I do want to share with you guys, and then just heavy openings to mix things up a bit. Um, I know eventually we're going to be doing a grading video on these. I'm not sure how exactly what I want to do or actually who I want to grade these with. Um, I really think these should all go to PSA. However, I am a daredevil and I will send some of these to the backyard CGC. It could be kind of nuts. The card has got to be absolutely, I don't know. I don't know. Last time I submitted CGC, I got absolutely burned and I'm pretty afraid to submit to CGC. I literally had a 30 card submission ready to go to PSA, and then I've been watching multiple YouTubers get absolutely annihilated by PSA. So I am like, oh man, like, what do we do at this point? But, you know, things can always change. Um, I do plan on getting these graded though, but with who? I don't know yet. But I'll do a video about going through every single one of the polls and we'll really deep dive and dissect all these and show, okay, what are we looking here? And just dissect the card completely. But, um, I'm just excited to do this with you guys here. Um, definitely a huge risk. <laughs> but hey, it's, you know, it's Pokemon cards, you know. Live a little, right? Um, I guess for this pack, I have two more jungles. So this one, I have one more after that. But um, anything, honestly, I'm okay with it. Um, I'm after to complete this set. I'm really hoping for Wigglytuff or Clefable. They are a little tougher to grade, from my understanding. A Vaporeon would be absolutely fantastic. I love Jolteon, one of my favorite Pokemon. Shoot, I'll take a Pinsir. I don't have one. I don't care. Uh, I'll take Old Fashioned Mr. Mime. Um, Vile Plume, Victoria, or Victoria, Victory Bell. Anyone. Um, it's really kind of just a matter of doing this and getting that experience in. But um, Really, that's kind of about it. I have been uh, taunted by some people to open some heavy packs for them. And believe me, if I weren't sitting on a little more heavy packs, I would have jumped in full speed ahead. So there's nothing else less to do. Only that it only takes one. And there's no last words. My last words are it only takes one. We don't do the card trick. This is 100% risky, everyone. But that's okay. I'm willing to take that risk. So cloudy day in Florida. That's the forecast. Pollen is an all-time high, but that is all right, because we're indoors. Got the pennies at the ready. It's pulling out. And if you've made it to this far of the video without fast-forwarding it, you got what it takes. You're the real deal. So, here we go. Whoever's meant to be the hit, hit us good. Whether it be anything. Fingers at the ready. We're going in. Ooh, that's a clean break right there. I like the sound of that. Folks, anything I'm willing to take. Um, just want it to be in good condition. That's all you can really, that's half the battle. Who knows what we're going to get. You got to be kidding me. I don't see my fingers already. I'm pulling. All right. Come on. Ooh. 
And away we go. You know, I don't think I've pulled any Eevees or um, Pikachus at all. Oh, <laughs> well, we only opened up one jungle pack, so... <laughs> Let us see what it's about to be. All right. Nice and smooth opening we got here. Gonna slide these out. Cards at the ready. If you're part of the Hitchhiker Thumb Club, welcome. If you can think of some idea to keep a Hitchhiker's Thumb from cracking open cards easier, let me know because... There's no advantage to this. So we have a beautiful Jigglypuff singing the lullaby. Card number one. Card number two. Ah, there he is. Wonderful Eevee. Can't complain there. Oh, wait. We forgot, of course, to check out the front. It's crisp. And we want to look at the back. Ooh, this front card's actually bent. But let's check out this Eevee, guys. Okay, so here, let's, here, let's pull this to the side here. All right, Eevee looks good. Okay. Any whitening? Nope. Eevee's in the clear. Looks like the first card was a little bent, but that's okay. Because that hit card is good to go. Looks centered and perfect and everything. Nidoran female. Which brings us into the next Spiro. Hands against sweaty. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Which brings us to the Oddish. One, two, three, four. Our hit so far. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Folks, it only takes one. That's all I can say. Meow. Now, guys, whatever is the hand that we're going to be dealt here. Normally, sometimes I like to close my eyes and take a look at the card, but this time we're going to go in deep. Could be anything. Who knows? Wish luck, everyone. So we're going to just gently Clefable. Oh, wiggly tough. Oh, come on. No scratches. No scratches. No scratches. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, righty then. Ooh. We got to check for the air for the Butterfree here. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on. No, 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 no. No scratches. No scratches. No scratches. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, come on. No scratches. Oh, we're looking good. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's check through the body real quick. I think we're okay, though. God, I'm going to shake. Let's get all angles here for you guys. Oh, baby, we're mint. Okay, the centering. How are we looking on the centering? Centering, we are good. No first edition errors here. Oh, man. Yes, <laughs> let's go. Okay, 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 come on. Nice and easy does it. The flip. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I yep, in you go. In you go. Oh wait, there's a little line. Oh no, 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 hold on. Oh no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that just a line? What are we dealing with here? Hall filled, there's no oh, anything on the surface here. I'm holding this thing so fragile. No, 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 no. What is that? No. What is that? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we dare attempt? Is that a scratch? It's not. There's not a scratch in the hall foil. It looks like a pencil mark. Honestly. Um, hmm. All right, hang on. We're going to put this guy in here for a sec. What is behind the black cloth? All right, I learned this trick, and I know probably a lot of you guys have, but if you, people say use water, um, I kind of just dab with my tongue. You need a little bit of liquid, but nothing much more or less on it. We'll take a look at the Butterfree in a second. Okay, let's be extremely gentle. 
the hall of oil guys everything about this card is fantastic all right we gotta place it down for a second okay first let's kind of just i'm gonna step to the side here It does look like a little pencil mark here, but all right. So now we're gonna okay, little. Well, then you kind of just wipe it here like this. All right, let's just be very, very cautious here. Not, we'll get a quick feel. If this is if this is too much, I'm gonna immediately stop. So. Holy smokes! I need to get a magnifying glass for this one, guys. I got a big one here on the side. Shoot. This is skeptical, this one. Holy. I really don't want to handle this card too much. But man, everything about this card is perfect. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. It's smooth to the surface. All right. We'll have to further observe it. All right. Card is in the penny. Let's get the top loader. Protect the guy. Fantastic pull. Um, this is an interesting one because nearly everything else is perfect. Uh, if that thing was maybe like the size of a dot, I would say maybe, but now it's getting to that point where unfortunately it might be the, let's say part of no return, but uh, I don't know. I got to further, you know, maybe if I try to play with this a little bit more, we might be okay. But guys, other than that, you saw the camera. There's nothing, nothing wrong with this card. Oh, uh, God. Ooh. But guys, that's what it leads to. Look, this is extremely risky doing this, okay? Look, like, that that's all it takes is that little, little, little nick, that little dot. Hang on, let's, there we go. So let's show you guys here. Look, I don't know. I, I don't know. I actually think that can potentially... That's on the top loader, that little speck there. I don't know. I got to further observe this. I actually think maybe I can get this to come off, but it's got to be. Look at this car. Wow. Nothing. Beautiful wiggly top. I mean. It's going to be interesting, you guys. However, a little exciting part here. Let's see what we're dealing with right here. I'm going to show everyone this nice and close. Would you look at that? Ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I don't think it's the air. I'm pretty sure it's not the air. I got to remind myself what it looks like. I thought it was for a second, but I'm pretty sure if I recall, it's something to do with the first edition logo. I just got to... Whatever I... I don't think it's the air. Pretty sure it's not. Probably like five of you guys or how many of you guys watching this going? No, no, it's not the air. Just double check. Uh no, it's not the air. I thought it was for a sec because um this is gonna sound funny, but I was looking at the uh oops, sorry about that. I was looking at the uh no, this is the regular one. I was looking at the uh the D here. And they're not forgetting it goes in the middle of the one there. Nope, not the air butterfree, but that's okay. Then we have the Nidorino. Wow, what a great pack. What a great pack. I don't know, you guys. I actually think someone... Uh, if that scratch was like half the size, maybe... Mm, 
I don't know. I don't know. This one's a little tough. Gosh, I almost want to get an eraser to this thing. I don't know, you guys. Um, I as crazy as it sounds, even though with a little blemish like this, I really think, I really, really think this has a shot of a ten. Look at this thing. This is potentially, I don't say potentially, but this is probably this is the nicest blue stuff I ever held. Let's take one more last peek at it. Actually, you know what? Guys, I gotta get this under a scale, under a big light. I gotta take a diaper look at this. But you know what? As always, guys, it really only takes one. I This card's flawless. I'm happy as can be. Guys, I'm the pole father. And for those of you watching, as truly... There it is. It only takes one.